Hello guys, time again to tie a fly. Uh, it's gonna be a, a really nice pattern, I like it, nice color combination, uh, really interesting, so let's begin. Okay guys, time to tie a fly again. Uh, so let's just start. Uh, first of all, uh, oval gold tinsel, gold uh, small. Jag ska nu add it to the hook. I got the cold coming så jag tror att jag borde göra en video idag. Maybe tomorrow. I'm all snowy and stuff. Så. So, let's add a few turns. There we go. Just securing that one. There we go. Yeah, cast cut the leftover. Perfect. <clears throat> So next we have yellow silk. So I tie that one in. I have a few turns of that and then red silk. I tie it in, just securing the yellow silk, then we're going to tie in some red silk, just going to cut this off first, so I have room to work with. There we go, and the red silk. Gonna be colorful uh, fly. There we go. Silk done, just securing it, tie it in a few wraps, cut it off, then going back and then we apply the tail. Before we add the tail, I'm just going to build up here a bit with the thread. Even the gap. There we go. I'm going to apply some wax to the thread. I have a tail prepared. Um, hope it doesn't get too long. So this pattern should have quite a long tail. There we are, going back again. Now we should have a boot. Peacock. So 
let's see how this works out. They can be very, very dry. close to break it off there on the, <laughs> the hook there we go put in place just securing it properly now we have a few things to try in it's gonna be a tin cell it's going to be a body hackle. The pattern states for either a dark green or a black. So I didn't have a dark green, so I go with the black. And uh, flat gold tinsel. Let's think. I'm gonna tie in the peacock hern first. <clears throat> Sorry about snoring. Well, no, it's not snoring, but uh, yeah, I got stuff in my nose. So I think I'm gonna tie it in here. Then we have the hackle. The hackle I tie in the whole length of it just to make sure it's uh, secure enough. fibers backwards makes it easier to tie in the next thing which is the flat gold pencil now we have a lot of things tied in in the back Just gonna go to the, to the middle first, somewhere in there. Add a bit of material. Uh, let me see what I'm gonna add. It's in the back. Oh, it's actually here. Not that one. I think I go with white then. I was thinking about gold, but uh, let's make sure I don't waste you guys' time. So let's add white. So I'm gonna build up the body with uh, a thicker thread. Just so you know what I'm doing. Else it's going to be very thin and that's not really nice. <clears throat> Secure the thread. So 
I just winding backwards. I'm gonna end uh, just before the big hump in the back. So I'm gonna level from there. So let's start from here then, and then forward again. I'm not gonna apply too much material since we're gonna have the green silk on top of it anyhow. Just working. And as you see, I need to go back and then forward again to keep the thickness of the body. work as quick as possible here. Running out the material, that's okay. We just add extra. We're gonna tie that one in. Add more. So this uh, pattern has a silk body, so that's why I I add materials to it. Hmm. Where did I put that? There. bit odd still. Hope to be able to. Uh, I'm gonna use the green one then the silk to do the final adjustments of the same. I went to massage yesterday, so uh, my shoulder and uh, pinched nerve feels a bit better. But, uh, I need to do it a few times more, so hopefully that's going to solve the issue. Getting to a body we can work with. So let's tie in the white material here. green silk and we need a lot of it so I, i'm gonna apply this one very carefully
So you only go the whole length backwards. And then on the way forward I'm gonna try to get the as a good body I possibly can while doing a quick video. Slow progress. I like uh, green silk bodies on flies. It looks really good. Almost there. Let me go forward again. And let me tie in the silk. So that was the easy thing to do. So I'm saving the leftovers for the next fly. Uh, not so many has green in them, but anyhow, you never know. Now we're going to do the tin cell. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the tinsel as it is. I will not cut it off. Because uh, we're gonna do the hackle. And behind the hackle, we're gonna have uh, the lovely Austral uh, peacock herb. And that can break. Most likely will. If I have the tinsel left, I can unwind that one, put a new hurl underneath the tinsel and pinch it together as a backup plan. So just tying in the hard hair. So meaning I will keep this one as well. Until I'm done with this step. Now everything can turn from good to bad.
I think actually I will do the opposite. Uh, looking at it now, getting that hurl just be a nightmare behind the hacker. So I'm gonna change. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the hackle first and then the herd. Oh, sorry, the hackle after the herd. That will play better. Securing that. Almost there. There's one more turn here. Then we can start to cut off the material. We start with the tin cell. There we go. Then we can take the soft materials. Fold everything backwards and try it in. Just to make sure nothing is getting lost. I got the hacker and deep orange. Let's tie that one in. This is a lovely pattern I never tied before. So hopefully I can do it justice. There we go. So a few turns of orange then before we start with the wing. I think that's sufficient. It's not going to be that much hacking. Oh. 
Just cleaning up the table. And then just even out the, the body bit here. Don't have that huge jump. Folding the feathers on the side, as you see, it's creating like a V, the tiny points, so to say, for the wing. So, let me have a look at the pattern real quick. Two toppings, Argus pheasant tail, bronze mallard. Okay, let's start. Two toppings. I wonder. There we have my thingy, dubbing needle. Long, so I'm gonna take from the other one. So we need to find two toppings that is not too long. That's gonna be <coughs> not that easy. Oh, that one we can throw away immediately. Like I prepared a lot of toppings recently, but many of them was quite bad, I must say. Oh, it showed here, so that's gonna be tail, tail stuff, same that one. A lot of damage on the feathers. That's good. Then you see me work with toppings. Like them, don't like them. Too soft, too long, too damaged. I just threw away the damaged one immediately, so I don't need to look at them more than once. See if I can shape this one then. One. Yeah, that that uh, will do. And then we just need to find another one on top of that. Oh, I got a really sore tr throat. <coughs> I'm gonna be sick tomorrow. So, waxing the thread, it's important, uh, tying in toppings. Uh, the 
go. One topping in. Need the wax for the next one. Don't want to add too much because we're gonna tie in Amherst. Oh, sorry, not the Amherst, the other one. Uh, Argus. Too long. So now the work starts to find the next one in line. Long. Long. We just want to have a slightly longer one. These ones are bent. Too long. Way too long. I'm moving that one in the long box. Too long. That one we can throw away. Let's see if we are lucky. Oh, you see, many is so damaged. Those are true away. Oh, maybe here. Let's have a look. Might be something. It's also damaged a bit. Not too much though. I keep that one. Um, and we'll look a bit more. I think that's the one we take. Yeah, let's try that one. There we go. And we had two toppings. Just gonna double check the pattern. I think it states two toppings. That's it. Yep. So Argus Hessent. This is a feather I really don't like to work with. Kind of a nightmare. I think just a strip.
<laughs> now that doesn't look good. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Let's see if I can get them on top. That could be maybe a way of doing it. I think that's a uh, what we need to do else it's going to be way too difficult to manage at all there we go so i just need to adjust that one Then we're gonna have the, the mallard and stuff so covering that one up. It should be illegal to add the argus to a classic Selma fly. It's hard. I threw, threw this one away. Oh, now it can be a tail. I keep it. There we go. Now we're gonna have a uh, buried wood duck. Quite a lot. So let me take actually the whole side here. <coughs> Pull the orange down a bit. The topping just lost it. So there we go. The buried wood duck should be on the side. Now it's on the side and I look better when I get all the pressure down on it. So let's see if we have one for my side. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it will be almost equal. Thank you. 
Can remove a few strands. It's okay. Doesn't look much for the world, yeah? I know. Not done yet. So I'm just gonna cut this one off. It's in the way. Now we're going to add Marlad. Let's see if I can put down this one a bit. Now we can add a mallet on top of that. Let me see where we got the mallet. Here we are. Wasn't happy with that one. And with that one is curved. Too short for my taste. Now let's get some more malad out there. I think I have it just here. There we are. The camera is doing its own thing, zooming out and in and stuff. <laughs> so, we find a sweet spot there. There we go. Just gonna shape it.
and then we're gonna do the same on the opposite side cleaning up And then I reshape it, curve it the other way, and I cut the stem off. So now we can tie that one in. It didn't really compact that well. I need to add it more to the top. There we go. Oh, it looks better. Then the uh, next step is to wax the thread. It's not an easy pattern to uh, play around with. Keep that in mind if you want to give it a try. cleaning out a bit now we're gonna add a yay here I have some yay let's see how I gonna wind this one since I want the colored side to show. I think I do it the opposite way. And I do just two turns. That's it. So now I just make sure to tie that stem in properly. And the last step we have is a hurl head. Uh, not normal hurl, but uh, peacock hurl. And it's state in this two pattern. One is uh, stating green and the other one bronze. I think I will just go with the same I have in the rest of the fly.
Come on. Yeah, it's gonna cut off that one. Just and just, not that easy. Waxing the thread. Yeah, but that works as well. <laughs> if you notice what happened, the thread jumped uh, to the front. That works. Nah, don't play around as I do, that's never good. But we got all key ingredients here. First time I tie it, it was a bit tricky. It's not an easy pattern. So guys, the video is done. Uh, uh, it was a bit tricky, however, it, it looks all right. Uh, might be, uh, the, everything could be a bit higher in the wing, but I think overall, uh, it's okay. Um, so, if you like the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and the bell icon. And then you don't miss out on my uh, coming videos. So, see you in the next one. Bye.